Alice LPS. Hello, and you're probably kind of eager to see what I'm revealing in this video, but let me slide in this little message before I show you. You can probably assume what it is now though because the background. What's sitting behind me is a project that was on the down low for about eight months now. <laughs> Ooh, time flies. They're customs but with a twist. This year I decided to incorporate more materials into my customs like airbrushing and using resin which is why it took me so long to announce these guys. I'm a huge perfectionist when it comes to my customs, but reading your comments on my videos of when I do customizing is really giving me a boost of confidence and you seem to want them. I'm finally selling some customs. And some of them I don't really want to part with, they're like my little children. Quick side note, this might be like the one and only time I sell my customs, so yeah, I'm gonna see how things go, and if the demand for these types of customs aren't that great, then this could be your only chance to get your own. Alice LPS designed hand painted custom, wow. So let me show you them. This one was my first ever glass eye custom, and I love, I love, she's very simple and she, she's not very bright and I kind of like that about her. Her eyes are a really dark purple with some hollow glitter in there and also some gold stars. And as for the painting, I airbrushed on some black on the bottom of her body and on the tips of her ears and stuff and it added that little bit of depth, I think. It made me realise how much I love the toy poodle base. This polar bear just screams like winter and Christmas kind of. I just thought, I looked at this bear and I was like, I feel like painting him blue. So I did like a gradient of a really light blue on the front of him and then around where the ears are I added a little bit of a darker shade and I added in all the other details with either a dark blue or a metallic silver and everything just came together really nicely. All of the details inside the eye colour also match the silver and dark blue. I love him and his frosty vibes, he will make a great like winter character. Kind of reminds me if Elsa was a polar bear. <laughs> So this purple cat, she's pretty simple with her like paint job and design so I wanted to make her focal point like her eyes. Without doing loads of like bright colours I decided to go for like a hollow design. So for the colour I used a pearlescent white and I put some little pearls in there and also threw in a ton of holographic glitter. From every angle and where the light shines you see different sparkles and it's just so beautiful and I love her so much. This is one of the pets where I'm like can I part with her? Would she make a great character in a series in the future? Is she a magical girl from another land? I don't know yet and I kind of want to build that story for her. This dog, I love, I love him so much but I, I have to part with him. I'm sure someone else will love him just as much as me. He was actually one of the last customs I made. I was just kind of like, you know what, I'll add another one to the bunch and just kind of went with it. I wanted to give him simple but really sparkly eyes and they came out really well. The holographic and the blue works so nicely, I'm totally going to use that again in the future. But when it came to painting him, I wanted to like point out the different colours in his fur, but in the end he kind of looked like Zigzagoon the Pokemon. <laughs> very unintentionally, but I do love Zigzagoon and he makes a very fetching Zigzagoon-esque LPS. I don't know if I can part with this dog. <laughs> this one was also one of the final ones I created and I I love, even though her eyes are very simple, all it is is red glitter and a little bit of a star flake in there. She's very simple and I think I did a really smooth paint job if I do say so myself. Even though it was like only on the paws and the muzzle, she is very cute. I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence about selling this one as well but if there is high demand, I will create more. Don't worry. <laughs> For this pet, I wanted to experiment with airbrushing a couple of colours onto one base and I thought, wow, a calico cat would be perfect for this. And while I was painting her, I kind of went with the vibe of a mischievous cat that likes to run through fields and 
comes home with a bunch of daisies stuck to her and that's how it ended up and she's really cute. Because there's so much going on with the sculpting, I decided to make her eyes a little bit more neutral. But when the light shines in the right places, you can see little holographic hearts in there, which is really cute. So yeah, I hope she goes to someone who loves her. Throughout my years on YouTube, I've never done an LPS with different coloured eyes. It's called heterochromia if you're interested, but um, I've never done that on a custom before. And I've seen it on a few authentic LPS, like Tom. And I've always wanted to do that, so I did it. And she's really cute. So one of her eyes is blue and one of them is green, but they both have the same little um, heart detail in the centre. So yeah, this is a grey cat. This cat I am very on the fence about parting with because she looks so cool. I love the greys and the blacks and the golds with the pops of red. It just works so well together. When I was making her I was kind of on the fence about throwing in the gold because I thought it would be too much but it was just enough. Like. She's popping. And as you can see in the inside of her eyes, there's also a gold ring finding I added. So it ties in all of the gold ideas and her eyes are red, like her paws, and she's super cute. So yeah, she is a cute, edgy cat and I love her. This collie is great. I, I love her simpleness. Like the only paint thing I did on her was her eyelashes, which is really simple. They're very thin and I think it kind of captures her neutral vibes. And the pink nose, which isn't a bright pink, it's a very toned down neutral pink. So all the neutralness contrasting with the ice bright blue eyes is just, I love it so much. These are actually one of the first eyes that I made and I put a little blue gemstone in and casted it in resin and it gave off this kind of blue dome pearlescent effect. I wasn't expecting it, I thought it was just going to be like a gem, but I love this so much more and I threw in some hollow glitter and I love her. She is great. Also, this orange cat compared to the previous one, they kind of remind me of Elsa and Anna. Is it just me? Anyway, <laughs> this orange cat has been airbrushed with some white on the tips of her feet and around her muzzle. It's very subtle but also really pretty. And they don't have any eyelashes, I just gave a little bit of an inner line of black. Very simple, very like not too girly but also really pretty. And she has a bright pink little nose with bright green eyes. I once again did the same thing with the gemstone and so beautiful, I'm totally gonna do that again. She's great. And these guys are some older customs that I don't really have any attachment to anymore and I'm ready to part with them. And I hope they end up going to someone that loves them just as much as I did, or even more. <laughs> so that's the first wave of LPS customs I'm gonna be putting on my Etsy. And it might be the only wave, so we'll see how things go. So yeah, those are all the customs and they're going to be for sale on my Etsy shop, Alice LPS Creations. I can also include a handwritten letter if you put in the messages in the checkout that you want one. Because that'll be fun and letters and yeah! <laughs> this is my first time selling on Etsy so I'm a bit nervous and excited. I hope things go to plan and yeah. <laughs> If you have any questions at all, please just ask me them in the comments or like on a private message through my shop if it's personal. I will gladly respond to them and answer any questions, any concerns. Oh, and let me know in the comments which design was your favourite. Um, I think mine's either this collie or this collie? I don't know, they look simple and really cute. But I also like this cat because she's kind of a magical girl. And this one looks like Zigzagoon. I also like the Persian cat down here, she's kind of like really cool. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through and if you have, uh, put in the comments, uh, I'm running out of words, uh, <laughs> put in the comments I'm running out of words and I'll heart your comment. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for any of your, like, feedback or interest or, uh, yeah, even if you just, like, like them or like the video or like any of my Instagram photos, like, I really appreciate it. I've worked so hard on these guys and I really hope you guys love them as much as I do and I'll see how things go. Bye!